Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the Kartar Singh Committee. The Kartar Singh Committee in the year of 1973. But actually this committee was set up or constituted in the year of 1972. So why in that time what is the requirement for the setting of this committee? Because in the year of 1972 there are number of health programs are going on. The like health programs on malaria health programs on phylaria control health programs on the uh, leprosy control and health programs on the diarrhea and the trachoma so in that program the employ the health worker who were, was employed in the program they were working in the periphery level but there is a lack of coordination between the workers who are working in the periphery level with the worker who are in the supervisor level so put them into a one fam and uh, to integrate them the periphery workers with the supervisor worker that is the that is the main uh, main objectives or you say that is the main uh, focus of this committee so this committee committee was appointed under the chairmanship of kartar singh and he was the additional secretary of ministry of health and family planning government of india in the year of 1972 and he was focus this committee was focus on the growing demand for the increase of staff in the each program because is is the several health programs are going on and that required much much more staff so the to how to fulfill the demand of the staff and how they workers they will work integratedly by the periphery level and work in the supervisor level that is the main focus of this committee that is called kartar singh committee and in committee the chairman is the kartar singh that time he was the additional secretary of ministry of health and family planning so what is the objective of this committee so why why this committee or we say why this committee was established formulation for the framework of integrated service at the periphery is the sort supervisor level because the health programs are going on so the workers workers were working uh, the health workers were employed in the programs so to put them into one framework from for for that that is the objective of this committee and the second to assess the feasibility feasibility means conveniently how conveniently the workers or the health workers they can be uh, the multipurpose worker can be work in the field that is the main for main objectives of this committee and the third one is to recommend the training requirement as the number of uh, program like uh, phylaria program malaria program and the family planning programs are going on that is that that time also mobile unit mobile health service units are going on and uh, main thing is that family planning so how to uh, how to educate the people how to uh, how to uh, awareness how to uh, how to uh, educate them about the birth fetching and the contraceptives available that time so that is the uh, that's uh, for that required more training of this worker who are employed in this program so to recommend the training requirement that is also the objectives of this kartar singh committee so uh, for one uh, one year on his uh, observations we give the recommendations at that, that that uh, what are the recommendations we see and for which is the work in this committee was uh, was co- working or giving a much much focus on the multi purpose worker so this committee is also name also the other name or you say the official name of this committee was the multi purpose committee on multi purpose worker under health and family planning so because that time health programs and the family planning programs are simultaneously working so the committee on multi purpose worker on health under health and family planning so one year of observations what are the recommendations that the committee given in the year of 1973 the uh, recommendations are the anm should be replaced by the female health worker so the auxiliary nurses midwives that time who are working in the anms they are converted or replaced into the family uh, female health workers and the basic health worker malaria surveillance workers vaccinator health education assistant for the trachoma family planning assistant are replaced to male health worker okay so the anms are converted into the female health worker and the other like uh, basic health worker malaria surveillance worker and a vaccinator health assistant for the trachoma family planning assistant they are 
converted or replaced into the main health worker. And the supervisor, these are the peripheral workers, those who are work in the peripheral level, to, to supervise them. So one supervisor post also created. So the health supervisor male will supervise three to four male multi-purpose worker. So one male supervisor, health supervisor, under his the three to four, uh, three to four male uh, multi-purpose worker will be work. And that other way you say three to male, three to four male uh, multi-purpose worker, and their work is supervised by one male health supervisor. Similarly, the health supervisor female will supervise the work of three to four multi-purpose worker female so uh, the, uh, under one so female supervisor he will he will uh, supervise the work of three to four female multi-purpose worker and who will do the work of supervisor in the in case in female so in female the lady health visitor that time the lady health visitor who was working as the lady health visitor they are replaced or they are converted into the health supervisor female and the PSC in, in one PSC by the recommendation of the Qatar Singh Committee, one PSC should be uh, covered to a population of 50,000. Because on the census in the year of 1971, there is a recorded that that time 5,197 PSC were already established. So uh, under under uh, under requirement of the rural area, so that the the PSC should be uh, work on 50,000 populations and in one PSC there are 16 sub-centers are there in one PSC there are 16 sub-centers are there and so that in sub-center there will the one sub-center will work in 3,000 populations so one sub-center will be established in 3,000 populations and another another recommendation is that the family planning service service to be integrated with the health and the medical service. So the family planning service that also the, uh, the family planning uh, programs are going on and this family planning program was worked together or uh, was collaboratively with the medical care and the health service. So this is all about the recommendations of the Qatar Singh Committee. So uh, on this uh, discussion, the, uh, the important points are that the why this uh, when the committee was set up, that is the 72, and when it's given its report, that is the year of 1973. What is the other name of this committee? That is the Committee on Multi-Purpose Workers under the Health and Family Planning. So what is the objectives? Because uh, the formulation of uh, formulation of the framework of for integration service in the periphery and the supervisor level. So, then what are the recommendations of the Qatar Singh Committee? So, one NMs are be replaced or converted into the female health worker, and the uh, one female health worker, three to four female uh, multi-purpose worker, they will be supervised by one female health supervisor, and the three to four male supervisor, male health worker male multi-purpose worker they will be supervised by one male supervisor and in the, that time uh, according to the census in taken by uh, taken by the year of 1971 that time 5197 uh, PSCs are established so to so the one PSC should be covered to a population of 50,000 populations and in one PSC there are 16 sub-centers are there so that in per sub-center we will be calculate then we will got 5000 populations so in one sorry in per, per sub-center there will be population is 3000 populations so these are all about the uh, all about the discussion on the Qatar subcommittee hope you understand uh, this committee thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel